Welcome back to Murphy's Diesel Studios. We're going to talk about a little recovery we did in Arizona. It was a stormy and rainy day. A cold stormy and rainy day. And there were wolves and bison everywhere. And MCI buses. <laughs> Stand by, because it's going to get western. Because this thing was teetering on the edge of destruction. ourselves a little recovery right here in Arizona, Arizona. Arizona, Williams, Arizona. Look at the waterfall. Got a little waterfall. It is raining like a cow pissing on a flat rock. So we got a tour bus stuck in the buffalo pen and it is buried. Teetering on the edge of destruction. One side's burying, one side's teetering. I saw a picture of it. It's pretty good. Hopefully we can keep the rubber side down. Who do we got with us? Josh. Howdy. <laughs> Buffalo Bill. Buffalo, Buffalo Bill, Bill Hill. <laughs> the only reason I hired Josh is because he had a pretty nice beard. Beard life. Has your has your old lady ever has your wife ever Ask you to shave your beard, Josh? No, no. Not uh, once. Would you if she did ask? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. He life. deserves a beard. Beard life. She actually would get mad if I shaved it or cut it. Look at yeah. Look at Do not enter. Do not enter. Yeah, it's only we get to enter. You Do know, not enter except for Murphy's towing. Do you know what's right behind these? Uh, this fits? Bears. Bears and wolves they, they and can buffalo. <laughs> bears. Right there. I heard bears can smell the menstruation. I heard period the truck of bears. You go north, you run it across the street. Do not enter. That's absolutely bear. There's a bear. Look at him. He's running from the rotator. See me get out and get in a bear fight. He's just over there trying to get him some grab. Poor dude. The old bighorn sheep. So you can either go straight or you can make a left and come down. I don't know if one of you wants to hop in the truck and we can go out there and you can see how muddy it is. Yeah, can we hop in your truck and run out there real quick? Do that. Do that. So we're gonna hop in their truck and we're gonna take a little crews out there and check it out before we take these trucks in there and get them stuck too. What's your name? Evan. Evan. Rick, Rick and I'm Gabe. You too. Yeah, this is Gabe. Rick. What'd you say? Kevin? Evan. Evan. Yeah. Evan. Gabe. Rick. Evan. Do you know what happened? He just, I think he took that corner too sharp. Too fast. Blowing through there? I don't think too fast. It's just... With all this rain, it's been super muddy. He's like, we got a schedule to keep. Come on, people. <laughs> yeah, and I think he just cut the corner too sharp, and with the slope being so soft, it just sank down in there. Well, that sucker is Peter. Yeah, it had 35 people in it. <laughs> Where are they at? Uh, they're all up in the restaurant. Oh, nice. They're being taken care of. And we'll have people out here too, if they uh, start getting curious, we can bait them with some food. Try to bulldog one of them. I don't know if I could bulldog one of them buffalo. One of the calves, one of them yeah, babies. Yeah, bulldog one of them babies. <laughs> That'd be good watching. So yeah, you see how the corners get soft right here? Yeah, the whole road's getting soft. See his tracks right there? 
Oh, you slid on. Yeah, it's kind of too sharp. So stay further on that side. Man, I wouldn't have taken that bus through here. Right now. <laughs> uh, freaking, don't even want to bring the wreckers in here. Yeah, I think I'll want to bring one in there and one in this way. Uh, so we can have one on each end. I don't want this thing to tip over. Hopefully this road will hold it. That red truck weighs 67,000 pounds, so. As long as you stay in the middle, you'll be good. Yeah, we're gonna try. I'm gonna have a spotter, so. Hey. <laughs> that is lean pretty bad. Yeah, I'd like to get a hold of that calf right there. <laughs> for this call my whole life. Yeah. Bring the rotator in behind it, in reverse. We're gonna bring the 9055 in, front of it, in reverse. We're gonna grab a hold of it with two trucks so it doesn't roll over while we're doing the winch out. And then we're gonna slowly pull it out of there. Pretty sure I can take that one right there. Pretty sure. They're staring at us. If I had my bulldog and horse, I'd be getting me a piece of him. Evan, we hopped into Evan's pickup. We ran down this thing they call a road. Basically, it was just a little mound of dirt that they knocked the top off of. And so we go over there, we look at this thing, and I'm thinking, do I really want to take 64,000 pounds out on this thing? Yes, yes, I do. So we pulled up, back the rotator up there, and I mean, the video doesn't really do it justice. That thing was soft. It was soft, the turns were tight, and um, it definitely should not have had an MCI, MCI bus on there. The corners were really soft. I mean, the whole thing was really soft. There was probably an inch and a half of material on it. It had been raining for days, and I backed the rotator in there. Chris backed the 9055 in from the other direction, and the whole time I was watching Chris back in from the other direction, I was I thought for sure he was going to put it in the ditch. <laughs> like I was almost 100% sure, so you can imagine how happy I was when he didn't.
that bowl. At least we still have air. <laughs> got a hold of it. And boy, let me tell you, this thing was in there. When I got a hold of it, I was like, this thing ain't going nowhere. We got a hold of it and what we were doing, so we're kind of kind of gonna do a little slingshot action just slingshot it right out of the ditch you know low winch line low winch line to the rear drive low winch line to the frame a low winch line to the front chris was pulling on the front and when you get your trucks like that you get them lined up with each other and then the casualty is in the ditch and it kind of works like a slingshot so you pull on them both at the same time and as you pull on it it brings the casualty up. One thing I do want to say though, there's a new sign right next to, like if you drive in Arizona and you see where the Buffalo pen is, there's gonna be a sign that says, no buses or trailers. Yeah, I saw that. And uh, there's a reason fun. it's there. Yeah. No MCI, I believe it says no MCI buses, something like that. I think it says no buses. I don't know, just, you know, stand by because I am an MCI driving son of a buck.
got my ass ate out by the guy I'm supposed to be doing the axle surgeon job for. Why do you have to leave? Because I do business like this. He can't believe it. What does that mean? Why don't you call him and ask him? <laughs> Wonder if we could get butt slapped to David now. Can you imagine? So, so when the bus went over, so when it was tilting on its side right there, and they're unloading them people, and they're unloading in the ditch. So it's super muddy, and they're all they're herding them out the door. Could you imagine? Hey, could you imagine? What do you think? The, yeah. What do you think the very back guys thinking? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm thinking. What are all those people thinking? The back guys like you got one driver that's just like <laughs> shaking their hand as they get leave. <laughs> Say I'm sorry. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 I apologize. Sorry. sorry. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, no, I won't. No, I will not be driving home. No, no, no. We actually, we have another driver being flown in right now. Yes, yeah, no. my last day. <laughs> no, and, and they're promising them free hot dogs. Free, free wings. Free, free hot dogs and wings. Come on over here. Give me some lunch. <laughs> Come on over here. We're sorry. We're sorry, folks. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but here's a hot dog. Would you like ketchup or mustard? Oh, he, we got it out. We got it out. We're done. They're all talking about whose feet sweater. I'll bet you freaking wild buffalo Buffalo Bill. Buff Wild Buffalo Josh's feet or whatever the <laughs> shoes. He's got them painter shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh, you're already wet. You want to make 500 bucks? Right now. Cannonball into that. Oh. No? What about the grid? What about you? You want some of this action? 500 bucks. 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Cannonball out into it. Oh, come on. That ain't worth 500 bucks. You need to get your head wet. Swan dive. Why is he crap in there? Refreshing.
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I might think it went. Went real well. Um, we didn't scratch a corner on that bad, Larry. Um, yeah, it had the suction. That mud is like clay. Like you could make a little figurine out of it. Ain't that right, Wild well, Buffalo Josh? <laughs> and make like a I caught him making little figurines out of it a time or two. And, uh, but it had like a suction on it and you couldn't hardly get it to, we had, we had, it was a struggle to get it to break loose at first. And, and it kept just wanting to drag our trucks. And uh, that road had no material on it. Very little, a couple inches if, in some spots. Uh, it's really narrow. We got a lot of cleanup to do. And uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, went real, real well. Um, I enjoyed watching you um, not swine dive or not swan dive into the canal there. So, um, 500 bucks lighter. Uh, that's nice. Uh, but no, I'm just kidding. I was just pulling about. <laughs> we didn't get our truck stuck, so. That's also a bonus. We met the owner of Arizona. That guy was really cool. Um, he said we're VIPs. Yeah, he said he said VIPs for life. Uh, that's just how they do things at Arizona. Is what he said. You stay classy, Arizona. So, anyways, I, I really like Arizona. So, if you're ever in Williams, Arizona, check out Arizona. They have a bunch of cool animals. As you drive through, they got bears. I did a drive through a couple days later. Um, they could smell the menstruation. <laughs> they can. And uh, I'll throw some clips in so you guys can see, I mean, just a little bit of uh, what they got there. Uh, if you go check back one of our older videos, there's a video called, We Didn't Have a Wrecker. And if you check that video out, there's a contest in there. So if you want to win some stuff, before the end of the year, December 31st, 2022, uh, watch that video and uh, comment on it. You might win some stuff. Yeah. Also, be. also, the Raptor video is not staged. Okay, so we're giving a lot, a lot of, a lot of comments, a lot of people saying stuff. But I mean, we, we don't stage any of that stuff. If we would have staged it, that thing would be absolutely buried. Yeah. Like if we would have staged it. Yeah, I mean, we would have done something cool, you know, <laughs> not just parked a raptor, leaned up against the tree at the bottom of a little yeah. hill. But um, no, if we were going to stage some stuff, like, yeah, that raptor would have been in five pieces. And we would have been pulling it up a cliff with our heavies. Online store is going to be coming up. On so yeah. online store is going to be www.murphysdieselstore.com. I'll put the link below uh that should be coming out in the next couple days or weeks or months years subscribe like yes comment share comment and share and thank you to everybody who has already subscribed and watches our videos aaron mcconnell trey a big al Big that's Al. All, that's all I know right now. God bless America. <laughs> so, I'd watch again. Well, that wraps it up. Thank you for tuning in to Murphy's Diesel Studios with Gabe and Rick in the evening. Um, so that wraps it up for the Arizona Recovery. You stay classy, MCI bus driver.
right, hi, I'm Brooke. I'm with Bears on a Wildlife Park. Uh, we brought Murphy's Diesel out here today to do a recovery in our bison exhibit. Um, these guys are pretty docile and we did move them to the other exhibit for this, but you can see them right behind me. We've got plenty of bison for you to hear to see at Bears on a Wildlife Park in Williams, Arizona.